Hello everyone and welcome to Moonride. This is Dave Johnson, Shannon, the man in the moon. Today I want to look at Hunter Biden and see what the future is going to be like for him, but also see what the American people will think of these uh, cases against Hunter. Let's take a look, first of all, at his future. Okay, I see him with uh, three golf clubs. <clears throat> And I get the feeling like strike one, strike two, strike three. So on a positive note, he seems to be kind of smiling at the third one. I wonder if there'll be a sort of third action or third trial or third time where they'll, um, something will work out better for him. Third try, you know, he's gone to court a couple of times. They thought they had an agreement. And then, um, amazingly, the agreement went away the minute Trump was prosecuted and the Republicans you know, <clears throat> found something to prosecute uh, Hunter Biden on. Let's take a look, though. What else? Again, you know, when I see Hunter Biden, I don't see him looking too bad off. Now he's sort of going in a circle. It looks like he's circling a Christmas tree. You know, and as he's circling the Christmas tree, it's almost like a sort of dance. It's not, um, doesn't give me the feeling of being negative. And I feel like there is something that's going to happen around Christmas. Ah, he's showing me a present. Uh, he's going to open the present. And now he's showing me the inside of the box, which is sort of just dark space. You know, on a sort of personal level, Hunter Biden is, you know, facing his own demons and he's facing his own shadow side. And, you know, I, I think that's not inappropriate. Obviously he's had a, a confusing past there's some degree where on a personal level he needs to face his own demons and sort of almost like live up to the fight so he's pointing to a star in the sky and then he's pointing to the box of the star and the box of the star okay so there's a sort of maybe universe in there all right hunter what else Just kind of giving me the impression, you know, there's a lot of sad people out there. There's a lot of young people, middle-aged people who are turning towards substances for their psychological, you know, sort of needs. You know, they, he's not alone. It's a whole body of people that have sort of lost hope and uh, they are trying to find their way back. This is a sort of a positive image where you do see him making some successful moves towards a positive outcome. Yeah, I get very uh, mystical images for him. He's kind of dancing, but he does still look serious. So what else can we know about this? trial specifically spirit in, in a way i kind of feel like he's starting to buck up he's starting to fight for himself he's starting to uh respond i see him with a um, sword and there's another guy with the sword and he looks like the, the, the guy with the that he's battling it looks kind of like a Fox News reporter, you know, um, one in particular who looks it's kind of balding, and they're, they're sort of engaged in this sword play. And very much it's a stalemate, like nobody strikes first, they're just pointing, 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 pointing. Um, there is something about this evolution for Hunter that makes me feel a little bit better about this whole situation because he's growing up. And sort of 
being a bit more assertive with his life on a personal level, I I think this might be not such a bad thing yeah. for him. It seems also important that there's a uh, <clears throat> a movement forward. He's just moving through all of these things, and people can see that you know his father is supportive. That's what he should be. If anything, this makes his father look better. He's a troubled son, and he's uh, doing his best to stick by this kid. I think a lot of people um, will have strong opinions about what this is about. So let's see what will be the, <clears throat> maybe we can get a little bit more on outcome. Well, on the outcome portion, I see Hunter victorious. He doesn't seem unbruised. Um, you know, the sword that he has is kind of chipped in places, but he still holds it. It's like a hard fought battle, but it's not the end of the world. Like maybe he didn't do well, but he didn't do badly. I get the feeling as I'm now I'm looking at the courtroom of people feeling pretty ambiguous about this whole trial. You know, they're kind of like, hey, uh, this seems a stretch. That's what I'm seeing and feeling in the courtroom. It does not seem bad for Hunter Biden when I get to the courtroom here. Um, he holds a bouquet of flowers. I, I think that he may <clears throat> he really go to court. I think that he may go to court and he might just be acquitted. Uh, it might be that he winds up with some very minor charges or something like that. But more interesting maybe is the what the American public is gonna think of this. And I touched on this already, like how will American people or the world look at this trial? Will it be good for Biden, his father? And I, I think it will. This looks like the case against uh, Bill Clinton, um, where you know he was basically having an affair. It just there's just a lot of drama attached to, you know, something that's <clears throat> not uncommon. It's not uncommon for people to pay taxes late. It's not uncommon for people to become addicted to drugs in modern society. That's really a victimist victimless crime in both of those cases. Nothing bad happened. He paid the taxes with interest, you know. That's how people are viewing it. It's just this, you know, fairly petty payback. It does make uh, Biden Sr. look good. He's, um, <clears throat> he's now like kind of turning a bunch of levers, like he's making things move. This is what people are sort of more interested in. Like, how is Biden moving us forward? And I think there's just a sort of practical aspect of this. Once people see how sort of vicious the Republican Party is and how they're really not interested in governance, they're just attacking individual people or their kids, they will actually take a better look at Biden himself and say, well, these things are working, right? Um, 3% unemployment is working, all of these things, and they're just kind of actually humanizes him. He's not just a guy in a house. He's someone who is a father and has experienced, you know, terrible pain. I think that will um, actually sway the jury uh, for Hunter in some way that, you know, he was suffering terrible pain. He uh, lost family members in a terrible car accident. and. Uh, there was an emotional um, response to that, <clears throat> which obviously wasn't ideal, but you know, I don't think this is a good move on the Republicans' part. I think that they're going to look vindictive and mean once we open up and see you know, the family and the situation and the personality of the people, how they are a father who loves and backs up his son. Can you say that about Donald Trump? No. So there is a worthwhile um, comparison once we get to the details, but more so it's just this, I keep seeing people in an audience just rolling their eyes, like, come on, this is it? Like, this is all you can come up with against the Bidens is that, you know, this happened. It's not gonna be bad for um, 
Joe. Joe Biden actually is looking better and better as I progress here. And it's not just because of the situation, it's just a ride around these times. I think Joe Biden will have some successes. I, I'm wondering if the, um, the, I've seen this before, the war in uh, Russia, Ukraine will end perhaps around Christmas. And this will be what he is known for, uh, holding everybody together. Uh, the economy uh, <clears throat> will um, do even better when that happens, I presume. Um, that's what I'm seeing. It's sort of like they're going through a dark time. Uh, the Bidens, they're going through a dark tunnel. There's light from, you know, above occasionally, but there's a journey that they're on and a place that they need to go. But as they go through it, I'm seeing that they sort of come out of the tunnel and there's light. There is another tunnel ahead, but after that, there's light. So just to be very clear, what, how will this benefit or hurt Joe Biden? I think it's really going to benefit Biden. I'm seeing a sort of line up like imagine six exact lines and one really goes up. It might help the Republicans initially. It might give them an initial bump. But um, in the long run, people will perceive this as just going too far. Going after somebody's kid who doesn't work for the government, people will ultimately see this as going too far and they'll get tired of it and fed up with it. It's like, how many times have we heard about these, how many times have we heard about you know, Hunter Biden and how he's a corrupt person and <clears throat> this is what they've come up with. So people are just gonna get bored of it. I mean, bored of Republican antics. You know, it might be something you talk about on talk radio, but when you come down to it, you know, the, next year it's really going to be about things like the economy and you know basic bread and butter issues that we all have to deal with and in a sense this is giving biden the chance to show his true colors to stand by his son to also be honest to also demonstrate you know the, his honesty you know when they go and look they're not going to find anything on biden he hasn't done anything wrong uh, there's there's nothing really there. So in a way, it just shows him to be pretty squeaky clean. And then people, once they get beyond that, are going to just look at the practical realities of the unemployment rate and all those you know, kind of boring topics, but they don't, they're not that interesting in the media, but they are interesting when you, you know, <clears throat> go home and look at your paycheck. Yeah, Biden won't do badly out of this. As a matter of fact, I think that it will uh, be a benefit to Joe Biden. He looks like a, you know, a kid who the bully is beating up who's sort of making a comeback. Thanks so much for watching.